Hello, my name is Matt Allegretti from the Health Workforce Technical Assistance Center. The objective of today's training video is to introduce the basic concept of geocoding and demonstrate how to geocode provider practice addresses in ArcGIS. In this video, we will introduce the concept of geocoding, demonstrate how geocoding can be used in research, geocode a sample of 894 providers located in Delaware using the ArcGIS geocoding tool, and review alternative tools for geocoding. Before we start, let's take a minute to understand the basic concept of geocoding. Address information typically includes attributes such as house or apartment number, street name, city, state, and zip code. These address attributes are names of specific locations that cannot be displayed on a map without a reference to a physical location. A physical location is defined by its latitude and longitude, which represents a location on Earth's surface. Geocoding is the process of finding an association between address attributes such as house number, street name, city, etc., and a specific physical location defined by its latitude and longitude, which can be displayed on a map. But how does a geocoding tool find the right coordinates? The geocoding tool loads the input data, which is the list of addresses that need to be geocoded, and parses the address information into address elements. Each combination of address elements is searched and matched against the address elements in the reference database, which contains known addresses and coordinates. Each match receives a score based on how well the address elements in the input file matches the address elements in the reference database. The match with the highest score is selected as the final result for the geocoding. Geocoding has a wide range of uses, including visualizing points of interest on a map and conducting spatial analysis. For example, geocoding can be used to identify where patients live and how patients' location is related to healthcare services within a community. This type of analysis requires the transformation of addresses into coordinates, or in other words, geocoding. This transformation makes it possible to display patient addresses or origins on a map and compare them to the location of services or other community characteristics, such as rates of specific diseases and provider to population ratios. In addition, researchers can calculate the travel time between patients and healthcare providers in a community using geocoding tools. There are many other research applications for geocoding. In this video, we will demonstrate the process of geocoding provider addresses. For this example, we'll use the ArcGIS geocoding tool and geocode a sample of providers located in Delaware. First, let's review the address information. The data we are using was retrieved from the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services website and consists of 894 physicians practicing in Delaware. The data set has five fields, including NPI number, street address, city, state, and the practice location zip code. Please note that this data set is only a sample of the total physicians in Delaware. So let's add the geocoding toolbar to the panel. On the top panel, go to Customize toolbars, and select geocoding. You can see that the geocoding toolbar has been added to the panel. Now we can start geocoding the provider addresses. To do so, right-click on the dataset in the table of contents and select geocoding addresses. In the new window, add the address locator which will be used for geocoding. We will use the address locator named Delaware Address Locator. Then click OK. The address locator contains reference data that includes known addresses and coordinates. The reference data is used to match the provider addresses in the example to a geographic location. The address locator can be created by the user. However, in this video, we will focus on how to use the geocoding tools instead. For more information on address locators, please watch our video, 
how to create an address locator for geocoding in ArcGIS. The video is available on the HWTAC website. In the new window, make sure to select the correct dataset, which is the provider addresses dataset. Also make sure to select the field that contain the address information and the address input field. Street address will be in the field with the house number and street name. City will be in the city field and so on. Select the single field option if all of the address information, street, city, state, and zip code are stored in a single field. Next, select a folder for the output. In the geocoding options, you can set the spelling sensitivity and the minimum and maximum score range thresholds. In addition, you can check the X and Y coordinates option if you are interested in including them in the output. Once all the parameters are set, click OK. We can see the geocoding tool generated three types of results, matched, tied, and unmatched. Matched are addresses that had a match with an address in the reference database. Tied are addresses that have more than one match in the reference database with a similar score. And unmatched are addresses without a match. Click Rematch to review the results and possibly make corrections. In the new window, you can see a list of all the unmatched addresses in the result panel, the original address information in the address section, and the potential matches in the candidates panel. Let's review the second record. The street starts with 1 spelled out. Once we replace the word 1 with the figure 1, we can see that the geocoding tool returns a potential match with a score of 92.5. Let's go ahead and match it. Once you click match, the new matched address is added to the geocoding result list, and the match type is updated to matched. Although it's possible to modify each unmatched record, it is highly recommended that you clean the addresses outside of ArcGIS prior to the geocoding process. It can significantly improve the match rates and minimize the manual rematches made within the geocoding tool. Once the geocoding corrections are completed, you can close the geocoding rematch window and see the results displayed on the map. It is important to ensure that all geocoded addresses are in the state of Delaware, since we geocoded providers practicing in Delaware. The geocoding results layer in the table of contents is our new provider address table, but in the form of a layer. Let's review the data in this layer. We can see that new fields were added as a result of the geocoding process. The Match Address field contains the address from the reference database that were matched with the provider addresses. The fields Street or Intersection, City or Place Name, State, and Zip Code are the original provider addresses that were used as inputs in the geocoding process. The rest of the fields in the table are also from the original Provide Address table. Now that the data points are displayed on the map, you can add additional layers such as shortage areas, census tracts, or counties, and calculate the number of providers in each area. If you are interested in learning how to create a thematic map in ArcGIS, please watch the video, How to Calculate Ratios and Create a Thematic Map in ArcGIS, which is available on the HWTAC website. ArcGIS provides user-friendly geocoding tools. However, there are other geocoding tools available. QGIS, which is open source software, also offers geocoding tools. And there are other online sites that offer free geocoding tools as well. However, most sites require an API key for billing purposes in order to process addresses. In other words, most geocoding sites aren't actually free to use. A geocoding service that is free to use is the Census Geocoder tool, which is available on the Census website. The website provides geocoding services in a batch mode 
which allows the user to upload a file with addresses following a specific format. Once the geocoding process is completed, the results can be downloaded in a comma-separated value file. Here we can see an example of geocoding results generated by the Census Geocoding tool. The first two fields are the original fields, and the rest of the fields are new. The Another Address field contains the geocoding results, and the Coordinates field contains the latitude and longitude. This tool is very easy to use. However, the number of records that can be geocoded in every batch is limited to 10,000. Let's recap the geocoding steps to take in ArcGIS. First, we reviewed the input dataset and made sure that the address fields match the fields in the address locator database. Second, we added the address locator to the geocoding tool and then ran the geocoding tool. Third, we reviewed the results, modified, and rematched some of the unmatched records. And finally, we displayed the geocoding results on a map. If you have any questions regarding the content of this video or need further assistance, please contact Nafeen Haroon at nharoon at albany.edu. This video is part of a series on using GIS for health workforce research. This series was developed by the Health Workforce Technical Assistance Center, which is part of the Center for Health Workforce Studies at the University at Albany. Mm -hmm.